winning in Sunningdale at uh, the AIJ Women's Open was obviously um, something that I had dreamed of and worked towards and wanted for the most part of my golfing career. I knew I wanted to go off to a fast start because I was one shot back and when you start off with two par fives you know that most likely everybody's going to at least birdie them. So my feeling was that in order to draw level with the, with the players that were leading, I had to at least eagle one of those first two holes. Pummeled my first drive down the first, hit a five iron, made the putt, so there, there you go, there's your eagle, right? Okay, I'm ahead of the game, I've already eagled the first hole, I can, you know, play pretty chill after that. Next hole, I hit a decent drive down there, and then my second shot was a five iron, it was from, I think, 220 yards, there or thereabouts, and um, it took off, and I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good line. I think that's a really good line. It should be good if it holds onto the green, would be good. We'll have a you know easy two putt birdie. And all of this goes through your head, like from the time you hit, all these thoughts happen so quickly. But the crowd's applause were getting bigger and bigger and it was, they were getting louder and louder and all of a sudden it just went nuts. And I'm like, because it was blind, I couldn't see. I'm like, did it go in? And Maureen Medill, who was the, the commentator at the time said, yep, yeah, is it? And I'm like, oh, and I did a stupid little jump, a very Phil Mickelson-esque actually. To win there in front of my home crowd, the closest location to my hometown was, was really very special in all manner of ways. I mean, you never really truly know if, if you're going to win a major or if you're even going to win on the LPGA. It's just, you hope that one day your time will come and that you're able to step up in the moment. 